Well, today is Take Your Cat to the Vet Day, and with 36 million household cats in the United States, only half of them regularly receive veterinary care. And joining us to discuss the importance of taking them to the vet is veterinarian Dr. Natalie Marks. Nice to have you, Doc. Thanks for having me, Alex. So it's, it's the truth that more dogs than cats go to the vet, right? Why do you think that is? Well, traditionally, it's been a lot easier for dogs to go to the vet with their parents, but we know the number one reason that we don't see cats as much is because of the stress of getting cats into the carrier at home. So we're here to change that today. Right. I've seen the process, and it certainly can be more difficult than just asking your dog to hop in the back seat. So what are some tips to make that a little bit easier? Well, it all starts at home, and it involves leaving that cat carrier out at all times. So I like to say be, have it be furniture. It doesn't have to be coffee table, but leaving it out every day so that your cat can be fed in it, have a fleece blanket for comfort, and using pheromones like Feel Away, which is a calming compound, to relax them. So that way, when they see the carrier, it's a positive association and not a trigger for stress. Right. It's all about training them properly. And so, of course, it all starts, too, with improving the home environment for a cat. How can we do that? Yeah, that's right. Cats love to be up high. They love to perch. So having cat towers and trees and scratching posts, you know, it's really important to have one litter box per cat plus one. That's the cardinal rule for a happy cat household. Making sure you have good nutrition, not feeding them anywhere close to the litter box. But diet is so important in making sure they're on a good quality diet for their life stage, something like Royal Canin, so that we can take care of them and keep them as healthy as long as possible. Right. And of course, if you've had your pet for a long time, you can recognize when things are normal, when things might be a little bit off. But sometimes uh, there can be a middle ground where it's sort of hard to tell. So when do we know it's time if you have a cat to take the cat to the vet? Yeah, it's a great question. Cats are so stoic and they hide disease. So when we're seeing signs like GI signs or urinating out of the litter box or not grooming or hiding from you, that's typically signs of more advanced disease. And um, we don't want to see our cats then. We want to see them early. That's why it's imperative to see your veterinarian at least once a year for a routine physical exam and diagnostic screening so we can identify any disease as early as possible. And it's super important too to find the right vet, the right clinic uh, for your cat. How can we do that? Well, finding a cat, uh, a practice that has a separate cat area so your cats can be elevated and off the ground, and also an exam room that allows them to acclimate and climb and have low stress handling so you can have a great visit. If you want more information, um, your, your watchers can go visit royalcanon.com forward slash cat to vet. There's a great contest coming out with Take Your Cat to the Vet Day where they can win great prizes as well as tag their practice, and their practice can win some makeover items as well. So it's a great experience for cat families and also so for veterinary clinics out there. Right. I mean, you can look at, you know, at Google searches all day long and see, uh, try to figure out what may be going on with your cat, but it doesn't compare to going to an actual expert, an actual pro who is uh, very trained in, in knowing how to help them. So, uh, Dr. Natalie Marks, thank you. Yes. Thanks for saying that. Have a great day. You too. We'll, we'll be right back.